um, the last thing that I'm going to talk about. So please get your pen and paper ready. <laughs> we, are, we are going to really talk about something that I told you all that we're going to do today. I want it. I want today, whatever you're going to spend, how much time do I have left? Like, like I don't know, 40 minutes I have left, right? With you all now, I'm going to share with you all about what we do, about what we do, all right? That's going to make your sales great about but i just want to say this yeah yeah what what other things like in, in shopee that's so great about uh, about it um they give you tools to do bundles to do add-ons you know all this all these things that you're re reading now nah, i don't read from slides huh? all these things uh, um you are provided by shopee all right and later on i'll share with you one of the greatest things that shopee provides to us sellers i'm going to share with you that okay now yeah boost your sales today yeah don't don't wait anymore i i really hope my, my friends, I really hope that you can promise me that after today, those of you who are already selling in Shopee, yeah, please do this. Please do this simple thing, right? What, what I call this simple thing is uh, it's my formula, right? It's called TPPD, right? I used to call it TPD. Lah. Then I thought, ah, TPD sounds like total permanent disability. Don't lah. <laughs> so, so I call it TPPD. Yeah. So what, why TPPD? The first thing, the first thing is, title your title right um just try to imagine just just try to imagine now uh, with me i know it's in the afternoon just try to imagine with me your grandma gave you a secret recipe to her nasi lemak right you cooked it according to recipe you share it with hundreds of your friends and all hundred of them of them say that mm, mm, sedap lah Right, you now have this secret recipe that all everyone that you have given to say is good. Okay, so you decided, okay, I'm gonna open up a store lah. All right, so you went to pavilion, went to Jalan Bukit Bintang or wherever there's high traffic areas. And of course, you want to open your store in high traffic area, right? I mean, you don't want to open store at the back lane. People don't know you want, isn't it? Right. So you go to pavilion, Jalan Bukit Bintang. You want to open a store there? Alama, all the shop lots are rented out. Okay, then you. Then you okay, now I open a small, small store only la, oh, put a table and then just sell la. Ah, you even a table all full, or oh, the whole road all full of people selling already. You got no place. So what to do? You have to set the back lane, no? You have to set the back lane. But then, business how? No traffic, no. Occasionally la, got some people walk past, maybe they'll buy la, oh. but no traffic also. No people walk by. How how to do that? How? You go to DBKL. I mean, uh, they want Bandaraya lah. Huh? Okay, go to DBKL. <laughs> gonna apply for a license to put what? What are you gonna do? Put signboard ma. Huh? Put signboard, right? From the Jalan Bukit Bintang, already start putting your signboard. Ah, okay, the best nasi lemak in the world is here. The, 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 put a signboard leading to your stall at the back lane. Isn't it? I mean, if not, no one's gonna find you. Correct? I mean, what, what, how much sales you want per day? Right, so that's why title is signboard to your products titles assigned what your products don't don't ever think that assign title is just my product name lah. what am i selling ah? I, I always use this example ah, right uh, what am i selling a uh, sony headphone oh, okay yeah i'm selling a sony headphone so that's my title lah. no <laughs> no <laughs> that, that's that's not that's not your title right your title is something different your title is it's a keyword Right, it's a keyword. Right, it's it's your signboard that's gonna lead people to your store. Okay, so now what? Why? How about the P and P and D? There's TPPD, isn't it? I'm gonna, but today I'm just gonna talk about title and probably a little bit about photos as well. Okay, the rest maybe next time. Okay, now title. Yeah, it's it's for the search engine, but isn't it? Come on, I'm I'm sure a lot of you know the titles are for the search engine. So then, why, why, why search engine? Easy what? Whatever you want to type. For example, if I type a Sony headphone, right? You're going to come up, isn't it? Correct? For the purpose of this training, I say correct. Lah. All right? And just now, someone asked about ads, isn't it? Yeah, then I will say no, not correct. You might need ads help. Okay? But I'll talk about ads later. Okay? So, if people type Sony headphone, you're going to come up. But what happened? Huh? If people type sony earphone you know so some people uh, who don't know how to differentiate between headphone and earphone 
um, very malu to say. Eh? Last time also I cannot differentiate what is earphone and headphone, so I just thought, I always thought it's called he- earphone. Isn't it? Yeah. So, what if people type earphone and your title is Sony headphone? You're not going to come out. You are not going to come out, isn't it? And what what happens is people if people type headphone for WFH, uh, did you put that? Did you put that? Okay, are you going to come out? Are, are you going to appear in 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 their search results? No, right? No, isn't it right? So this is this is uh, uh, some some uh, what do you call some recommended? Yeah, these are, are some of the recommended uh, uh, things that you do. Okay, that's called uh, uh, what what we call the placing of your keywords. Okay, most importantly, right? As I said, Sony headphone. Where do you put that in? Uh, I'm not going to put headphone by Sony. No, no, no. You always put the brand at the front. Always the brand at the front, right? And then secondly, you put what is it about? It's it's a headphone, right? It's a headphone. Okay. And then you put what model is it? Yeah, because there's so many models, right? Isn't it? So Sony. Headphone T one one zero, you put that in, right? And then it's a forty millimeter driver. You have put your specs. You have put your selling point, your feature. You have put that in. And then lastly, uh, yeah, I started doing this this year. What is that? Smartphone. What for smartphone? Isn't it? I put it Sony headphone, right? T one one zero forty millimeter driver for smartphone for gaming. For what? Music? Yeah, you, you put all that in. Why? Because these are keywords, right? And come on, we are in Malaysia, ma. Huh? We're in Malaysia, right? This is we are multiracial. Who's going to buy your products? Malaysian, right? Not Angmo, no. Oh, not Angmo. No, not just people who know English who buy from you. Of course, if you just type English, yeah, lah. People who know English buy from you, so you're going to limit the market, isn't it? Right? But no, don't don't just put that. You put phone. Look at that F O N phone. <laughs> okay. You put that in. Put in Malay as well. Put in Chinese as well. Okay. However, however, please remember, Shopee limits. Shopee limits your title to 120 characters. But right? it's not like wow, you're gonna have. Uh, 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 you can type whatever keywords. Da 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 da. All the grandmother story all there. <laughs> no, you can't. You only have 120 characters. Including spaces, yeah, including spaces. So please treasure, yeah, treasure your title. Remember, I said it's a signboard, ma. I mean, DBKL is not going to let you put your signboard that long until you reach your stall, isn't it? No, no. You only have limited space to put your title, but it's going to cost you a lot, also, isn't it? Right. So likewise, it's the same thing, right? It's the same thing. Your title are limited. So make use of it. Think what you're gonna do. What, what I mean, okay. What what title and I do, do I want to put? Huh? Okay. What title do you want to put? Hi, uh, Josh. Yep. There's one question from Asraf. Do you recommend stating our store name at the front of your title? Oh yeah. Hey, that, that's a very interesting one because um, I think it was early this year, or late last year. I decided to do that on my store. Yeah. I even I decided to do that on my store. Um, purpose is branding. Right, it's just for branding. For example, is I, I put a BC Bintang Cukal, right? My store name. All right, Bintang. I put a BC. So I put BC headphone. I put BC dining set. You know, something like that. So that uh, um, for for me, my rationale is that you know when people want to look for products and and they 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 like my store, they know wow this BC uh, store. Ah, uh, I buy today, tomorrow I get. Oh, I ask now. Ah, uh, wow, in five minutes I get response. Oh, uh, isn't it? I got problem with my product. Ah. Uh, They help. They're very helpful. Oh. So if I want to buy product next time, I want to check out if BC have that product I want. So yeah. So they type BC at the search bar, and I might come up. Isn't it? So I I think that's a a to ask the Ashraf. Yeah yeah Ashraf. I think that's a really good question. I I do that. However, uh, you're welcome Ashraf. Yeah. How, however, yeah. Again, I want to say that. Remember, uh, um, maybe not all of you are like me. Just have BC, ma. Maybe your shop name is very long, man. <laughs> Isn't it? So remember, you only have 120 key uh, 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 characters, right? If your short name is really too long, right? You're gonna use that 120 characters. So I recommend that you probably come up with, uh, 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 um, I mean, some some short forms for your for your short, right? Again, see, like mine is bintang cukal. I I don't write the bintang cukal. I just put BC, 
right? So slowly over time, yeah, people will know and people will just type BC, right? People will just type that. Okay, so yes, uh, please please do that. Please do that if if uh, you have the luxury to do that. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, in in your title, uh, you, can, you can see that people put emoji, right? People put emoji, uh, put this that, that, that fire thing. You can see, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, I, I used to be so impressed. Wow, look so nice, oh. Correct, not look so nice, oh. And then it was like, ah, uh, but then, oh, uh, how do you type in the search bar to get that fire emoji? Eh? I really don't know. How, how how do you type in the search bar to get the fire emoji? <laughs> so people are not going to type fire emoji or whatever to search for your product. <laughs> no, no, people are not going to type for that. Is it? Maybe they are that rare zero point zero 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 one percent will type lah. Maybe lah. But people don't type that. Is it? So why waste your hundred and twenty spacing, right? Spaces with this. But I'm not saying don't. Yeah, I'm not saying don't. Okay, don't don't mistake me. I'm not saying don't. What I mean is, if you really, right, got no more keywords to put already, you already think of everything. You already go to title, search bar, and look, and you can't find it still. Then put that in. Yeah, yeah, put that in. Might as well use it, isn't it? Instead of leaving it empty, make your listing look nice. Correct or not? Right? Okay. So yeah, do it too. If if yeah. And the second thing is, yeah, don't need to put all capital lah. This one, I, I, I think we all in what age now? Right? We are in the texting age, right? Isn't it the messaging age? We already know if you type all in caps means what, isn't it? This one we see our boss type that to us. Oh, I'm gonna die a bit down. Cannot sleep, <laughs> isn't it? Right? It's, it's, it's for example, it's just like you know, uh, 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 Marvel School Back 3D. If you type that and customers reading it, huh? It will be like, I am selling. Marvel school bag 3D. This is okay, okay, okay. I know, I know, I know. Are we going to next listing already? I tell you. No, are uh, you you find it really, man? <laughs> Inside here, you know, you know, in you know, our subconscious, it tells us that oh, oh this listing too loud. I better go next one. I better go next one. And also, we all got that phobia already, man. Got that imprint phobia. Boss type all in caps means scolding me. Shouting at me, but I better don't look at this listing. You, know? you already got this imprint. Or don't do that, lah. Huh? Okay, then the next one, next one. Ah, uh, I think this is what um Ashraf was asking. The next one, yeah, clear and concise name. Yes, you see, ah, uh, Ashraf, ah, uh, spam, spam. You were talking about was it Ashraf asking about spam? Yeah, but uh, never mind. <laughs> okay, look at that. A L X leather women handbag sling bag shoulder clutch bag wallet purse. What are you selling, ah? Uh? Are you selling handbag? Are you selling sling bag? Are you selling shoulder bag? Are you selling clutch? Are you selling I I don't know whatever. Huh? Don't, no. It's so confusing, isn't it? It's so confusing. If you're not selling those things, ah, uh, oh, yeah, you might get that violation. You might get that violation. Oh, don't. I mean, but then if you tell me, but George, I'm really selling handbag. I'm really selling sling bag. I'm really selling shoulder bag. Uh. If you are, make it clearer, lah. Oh, make it clearer. A L X leather women handbag. Put a slash lah. Or put a slash sling back slash shoulder back slash clutch back, right? Put 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 a slash. Oh, make it make it uh, easy to read. You see, uh, um, what what happened is uh, um, as I said, I I study all these uh, um, titles, all these copywritings and stuff like that. Uh, um, in um uh, and almost Amazon Amazon um US guru right used to used to tell us that you know hey, remember your titles are for search engine. But one search engine has done its job and show and show your listings to your customers. Now it's the customer's eyes that's reading it. And if the customer's eye look at it, it's like, wow, you know, like Amazon can type like two hundred over keywords title one, isn't it? And if your customers are seeing that, so difficult to read one, no, they are going to ignore you, isn't it? So it has to be pleasant to the eye as well. Yeah. So first of all, of course, search engine. Secondly, make it pleasant, lah. Huh? Make it pleasant. Okay. Shopee ads. Someone is asking me, isn't it? Yeah. So, so you see, this this is um data from Shopee itself, huh? Yeah. I I got this uh data from Shopee itself, right? So this is from Feb to April 2021. You can see at the bottom. So those sellers who actually put on ads, huh? Traffic increase. Impressions, all these uh, sales, right? Everything increased. 
uh, um, let, let, let me share uh, uh, what happened. When I started in Shopee, uh, uh, um, of course, I don't use ads for now because why? Again, they could they pay money. <laughs> no, la, better don't. La. I also don't know how to use ads. But not only could they put, la, I don't know how to use ads. Ma, isn't it? I'm going to waste my money. Oh. Correct not? Isn't it? So I don't use at all. Until about, I think it was uh, in July, right? And, and, and that, 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 that big seller was telling me, hey, George, do ads. Huh? Try, try ads. That's it. Why? A good um, ads give you traffic. I said, okay lah. I just did it lah. I mean, come on. Big seller telling you to try. Well, listen lah. Huh? Listen to successful people lah. Huh? Don't 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 be digil. You know, digil. My teacher always tell me digil. Don't digil lah. Just listen lah. Huh? Successful people are doing it. Right? So okay lah. I do it lah. I tell you when I did that ads huh? That very night, I got sale. That very night, I got sale from ads huh? Not from organic search, from ads, right? So from, wow, happy oh, Whew. wow, you're right lah bro, hey, you're right. So I started doing more and more ads, I started doing more and more ads. And then one month later, I stopped doing ads. I closed all my ads. Why eh? Why? <laughs> you know, uh, I think IBM boss said that lah. What gets measured gets results, huh? isn't it? Huh? What, what you measure, you master. But I would say that I don't measure it. I, I don't look at the reports. I don't look at the insights, what's happening to my ads. I mean, you know, it's, it's like, well, I do ads, I get sales, ma, so no need to look, see one, nah, just do it. But then at the end of the month, I really lost money. <laughs> I lost money. <laughs> so I stopped doing ads. Like, sorry. Well, I stopped doing ads until last year, 2020. I stopped doing ads for very long. Until 2020, then again, that seller, hey, George, What's your ads? Huh? I said, <laughs> I stopped doing it. <laughs> Why? Losing money. Huh? Why losing money? Uh, don't know. Taking too much money. Lah. You didn't monitor. Lah. You need to monitor one more. Okay. Alright. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Uh, that, that's how I learned my lesson. Paid a lot of money for the ads and learned my lesson. I started doing ads again. Again. Successful seller. Do it. Lah. Just try. Lah. Oh, just try. I did my ads. Uh, 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 the reason why he asked me to do ads was it was right before a campaign. Frankly, I can't remember which campaign already. It was right before a campaign, and he told me, "Hey George, do a campaign. Uh, do an ads one day and during the day of the campaign, so that people will actually find you, and people already add you to cart, and people are going to buy during campaign day, right? Because it's definitely worth it. In fact, during campaign day, right, I increase my ads amount, right, higher." Okay, I, I, I review a little bit of my Kiam Siapness again. I need to do two ringgit in my ads. My, my ads budget uh, daily uh, for the for one product, uh, only two ringgit. You go to Mama stall, Anne, Milo I satu, give him two ringgit, you think enough or not? You get a tight slap. Uh. <laughs> Isn't it? Hey, two ringgit, uh, Milo I also cannot buy you nowadays. But my ads is just two ringgit. Yeah. So so is, now, am I going to lose money? If I lose also, it's just two ringgit for that day. If I lose continuously for 30 days, it's just going to be 60 ringgit. <laughs> right? Uh, uh, sure, no, some tong one. No. Huh? Tak sakit hati lah, huh? Right? But, but of course, I've learned to measure it so I know what to do with the ads now. Yeah, it's, it's not going to, don't, don't worry, it's not going to lose money. Right? Later on, again, I told you the five steps. The five steps. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, I tell you. Uh, um, I mean, Shopee has been so generous. They shared this with me. Uh, you, know, you know, people, uh, um, I'm not sure if you can screenshot. Please quickly screenshot this one. <laughs> if you can screenshot, please quickly screenshot this. Uh, this is a very important information. Why? Because when I started doing ads, I, I didn't know what is supposed to be my ROI. Uh, so, okay, for every one ringgit I spend in ads, huh, how much should I get back in return? That is the standard benchmark. That is considered okay. You are doing okay. What what is it? It's this. It's this. You know, when I was when I started doing ads, every one ringgit I spent, I'm getting back seven ringgit, getting back five ringgit. So I was thinking, am I doing well? I, I do not know. And then after when we got better and better, every one ringgit we are getting eleven ringgit in sales, ten ringgit, twelve ringgit in sales. So am I getting better? But now, I don't know. So so it's. I, I cannot stand things like that. I, 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 I need to have information. I cannot stand it. So what happened? Suddenly when I see this thing from Shopee, it was like, oh, okay, I am in the home and living category. So I'm 
supposed to can you can you see home and living 6.5 to 10 times uh, 10.8 so that means for every one ringgit i'm supposed to get back six ringgit 50 cents to 10 ringgit 80 cents of sales then i'm in the benchmark i'm i'm doing okay oh okay so it appears that i'm doing well um okay i'm doing okay lah. don't 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 nah. <laughs> okay i'm doing okay right because i'm for every one ringgit i'm getting back 10 ringgit of sales 11 ringgit of sales so whatever category that you are in yeah that's the thing yeah, yeah, please screenshot this. When you do your ads, benchmark you yourself against this. Uh, again, this is something from this year onwards that I tell all my team. Whatever listings that you do, must put video inside. Uh, musty, musty. 100% must. Why? Because uh, according to Shopee data, this is Shopee data, yeah, not something that I, I cook up with. So according to Shopee data, 3.7 times of views when there is a, a video, isn't it? Increase sales three times. If you're selling 50 products a day now, you're going to sell 150 products a day. Isn't it? Yeah, why, why do you want to do it? Right? Put it in. It, it's, it's not like so difficult. Why now this, your phone can just take video. But please remember, it's only 30 megabytes, MP4 and length 10 to 60 seconds. Right? No need to put too long. Lah. Don't put too long. Just put just put 30 seconds or so enough. Lah. Okay? You, you really need to put videos. Why? Eh? Come on, in this age, you all look at TikTok. You all look. Even YouTube also less already, isn't it? No? We look at TikTok, why? Because we, we want to see video, we want to see how people are using this item, how people are using this product. Uh, 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 I don't know how many months ago, like, probably half a year ago, I wanted to buy a rubber seal, you know, those, the one you put in the, the car door, you know, to make your car more soundproof, right? I, I searched for it and I found two sellers, the one was cheaper, one was a little bit more expensive, a little bit, like, not like, too expensive, right? So then I was thinking, hmm, between these two, who should I buy? And then I click into the listing, and da, 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 da. in the end, I bought from the more expensive one. Why? Because I click on the video, the video show, oh, this is how you put it in, da, da, da. you put it like that, and then, you know, you, you uh, open the package. It gives you clear instructions and show you how easy it is to put the thing in. I am sure the second one, the selling cheaper one, also same one. Isn't it? It's same rubber seal only, what? correct? No? But, Seeing that video gives me confidence with the seller, what? You know, because the video shows that you can put like that, huh? If I buy already, cannot put like that. Ah, what to do? Complain, huh? <laughs> Hey, your video say, oh. your video say can one. You said that, huh? Hey, video, I tell you, video give confidence to your, your, your buyer. Uh, I mean, I, I, I believe um, throughout this MCO, we have bought so many things. We have bought so many things online, huh? That, that we are getting the, 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 what do you call the mentality now that uh, don't buy the cheapest, don't buy the cheapest. Isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm very sure because I've asked so many people. So many people have told me, yes, yes. They, they stop buying from the cheapest uh, seller now. Right? Why? Because they know price. Uh, you know? uh, good, good stuff is not cheap. Cheap stuff are not good. Uh, that's how it's translated to. Isn't it? Yeah, because why? If it's cheap, although same item, but this guy who's more expensive is going to give me better customer service. I have more assurance from this guy, right? Isn't it so? So yep, yep. We, I I stopped already. You know, I used to scroll and scroll and scroll. Huh? Wow, looking for the cheapest. You know, buying whatever lah. Buy school bag for my for my daughter also. I will scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. Wow, I tell you, sometimes uh, scroll one hour uh, just to look for a school bag that is actually cheaper than the other seller by two ringgit only. The code also got limit lah. Okay, I'm set also must got limit, you know. <laughs> huh? You said, hey, one hour spending scrolling uh, just to find another seller that's two ringgit cheaper. Uh. Um, frankly, I think it's not worth my time lah. Uh, or not worth your time as well. And not worth a lot of Malaysians' time already. The more and more people know that. So you see why you have to look professional. Right? Why Why don't worry so much about pricing anymore? Don't, don't. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, I got not enough time to show you that, that pricing thing. I can show you. One seller was selling 15 cents, another seller was selling for 2 ringgit, but that seller is selling the almost same amount. Why? Why? <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that, that, those are other strategies. Okay? Yeah, uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, the, 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 how many margins you count for each product? Uh, uh, um, um, that's, that's, it's, it's not a secret, 50%. Yeah, 50% margin. Uh, Shafika. Yeah, 50%. Okay. Now, let's go to the next one. Okay, a video. Lah. Oh, yeah. The good thing about putting videos in Shopee is so easy. You, you, you can actually uh, uh, um, um, take a video, upload it, 
and then you can actually select which part of the video they want to show you know uh, if you look at the first picture lah, you can actually drag the slider and just choose the part of video you want to show update that's it you're there yeah yeah this uh, free video editor just go and download lah. just go and download you can get it and uh, your phone also yeah i mean in, in 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 my company we just use our phone to take video we don't need a, a special what, dslr or something changi changi thing no no we just use our phone only all right uh...